I'm so excited that you want to start a live show, but I bet you're here because you're like, Desiree, what the heck do I do to get started? Well, today I have a beginner's guide checklist that's gonna help you get started with your Facebook live show. Hi, boring business owners, and welcome to my channel where I help your message get seen in that cluttered newsfeed. If you're looking to crush it with online and social media marketing, you're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button below so you miss any more videos from this channel that are gonna help you accomplish your online marketing goals. So if you haven't had chances to watch my video where I talked about why you need to have a live stream show, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video right here to get started, and it's even a live video I did myself proving to you that you need a live show to talk to your perfect customer. So when you're getting started with your live show, you're gonna to wanna to start picking out your theme. You really wanna think about what is it that you can talk about a whole lot and really specific topics. And you wanna build your show around that. So for this YouTube channel, I talk to you, the boring business owner, with helping you with marketing for your boring business. It's very similar. A lot of other people do different kinds of shows, whether it's around tech, whether it's around everything you need to know about insurance, everything you know about having a dog, all that kind of stuff. So really think about like what your target demographic is, whether it is geographically driven or just genre driven, and figure out what you can talk about on a regular basis and stick with that. Next, you're gonna to wanna to dedicate a day and a time that you're gonna go live every single week. Yeah, that's right, you are committed to this on a weekly basis at the very least to make sure that your show is happening because if it just happens haphazardly, that's that's not a live show, that's not a plan, that's not your TGIF or your Saturday Night Live. Like You have to commit to a time and put it in your calendar and say no matter what happens, I'm gonna be at my office or studio or wherever I go live on a weekly basis and make this live magic happen. Next, it's time to pick your tech. You're gonna have two options. You can do a phone, which is sort of the old school way of going live on Facebook in the original way, and you can either do that portrait or horizontal, whatever suits your needs, or there's the second option, which is the one I'm going to encourage you to do, and that's with you getting a webcam with a mic on it so that you can have that horizontal look, a higher, image quality and what's nice is if your laptop or your desktop it has a better connection to your Wi-Fi that's going to be a number one goal for your life because what's the point of having all that great information to share if your internet sucks so don't rely on that 4G get that internet connection with a webcam next it's time to have a plan you should know what you're going to talk about for the next like 12 to 15 episodes of your show sit down with a calendar and really think what are the most common questions that you get asked all the time what are some of the topical or seasonal things that are happening in your industry that you need to share that are relevant at the time that your facebook live would be going out Think about it, write it down, and stick to those topics, and you're gonna to wanna to spend time researching every single one so that you can make sure that you have the best information, but you're not gonna to wanna to write a script because, well, that's gonna to be too stiff and boring and rigid. You're gonna get uh, 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 while you're trying to read, and no one wants that. In fact, my next tip for you is you're gonna to wanna to have like bulleted outline of what you're going to say for your Facebook Live. I'm gonna show you, this is mine. I have all of my bullet points for this video so that I don't fumble through what I wanna say and I'm making sure that all the information I've researched and the flow I want is locked down. But I know about this topic because this is something I do on the regular and I teach other people how to do. So it's a little easier for me to just have that bullet point saying, hey, remember, you're gonna talk about people using bullets and outlines right here and then talk about it. You know your industry, you know your business, you don't need a script for it, just have those bullet outlines so that you know how you wanna flow through your video. And then it's time to go live. You have a plan, you have a time, you know what you're gonna say, and hopefully you're in a well-lit, quiet place and you can just hit live and make that magic happen. And as a bonus tip for you, I wanna remind you of one very important thing. Make sure you are recording for the replay. That's right, such a small percentage of the people that are gonna watch your video are going to see it live. So you wanna make sure that when they are watching that replay later that they're not sort of interrupted by your, um, can you, can you hear me? Hello out there in the internet world. Like, you don't want that. You also don't want to be interacting too much with the people that are talking to you. Yes, answer those questions of people 
that are coming in that are relevant to the topic. And maybe you even have a part at the end where you go back through and you scroll through little comments, thank people for joining and answer what they have to say. But it's so important to make sure that your information is given first because that's what's gotten their attention. So remember, record for the replay. That's it, those are my simple beginner tips for getting started with the Facebook Live show. If you have a live show that you love, please let me know down in the comment section below. I always am looking for new things to watch and I would love for our community to show some love to some other Facebook Live creators as well. If you are so terrified and unsure about where to start with live video, and just video in general for your business, you're gonna watch this video right here where I give you a four step process on how you can get started with doing video for your business. And if you're looking to get super fancy with your Facebook Lives and adding guests, you're gonna watch this video right here where I show you how to add guests to your Facebook Live. And like we always say, military life is never goodbye, it is see you soon. So until next time, I will see you soon.